Yo. Hey guys, we're here with Richard Davis, who will be competing at the Franklin Showcase on November 14th, where his opponent will be AJ Rodriguez. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, like what school you go to and some of your accomplishments? I go to Spurs Point High School. I was the first freshman to win counties. And last year I came, I was a state finalist. Okay. Awesome. Nice. So I see on your uh, uh, head that you got some black eyes, and you told me earlier that was from NHSCA. Um, you told me you had a pretty good week in there as you got to knock off your state finalists. You got some revenge as you lost last year. How did it feel overall, the whole NHSA tournament, and also getting some revenge too? Um, The first day, I felt like I could have did a little bit better. I lost two close matches. Um, Some things I fixed the second day, and then I found out that I'm going to be able to wrestle the kid I lost to in the state finals. Um. And I was really excited about that. I knew that after the state finals, I worked harder than him. And I got to prove that I got to prove who was actually better and who put in more work. So that felt nice. Yeah. yeah he told me the win was 7 2, which is quite, I would say, in my opinion, quite domination. 7 2 is pretty high score, uh, high, you know, outscored your opponent pretty high. Um, yeah. you, so you've been saying you put in a lot of work this summer? Yes. Um, after the state finals, it triggered something in me, and I just didn't want to lose again. I didn't want to lose. I lost state finals by one point. I didn't want. I wanted to make sure that wouldn't happen again. Yeah. So, um, what are some clubs or places you've been training at to, um, you know, kind of get you better? Um, I've been, I've been going with the Outsiders Wrestling Club. I've been training with them, and then a big shout out to James Lawback and Rob Sullivan, and I've been working with Coach Adam DeCosmo, who's helped me out tremendously. Yeah, and thanks be to them. Speaking yeah, of that, I was just with DeCosmo today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually. So who are so who are some of your partners at, at those places? Um, at, at Outsiders, I'm working with Jake Rollo. He goes to my Spirits Point High School. He's yeah. bigger than me, but I love wrestling because he makes me tougher. He's a he's a um very aggressive wrestler. He makes sure he always leads with his head and it teaches me to stay in the fight. I've been working with the Madre, which is, who's been a rival this last year. Um I lost to him at the counties. I lost to him at the counties and regionals. I ended up beating him at states, but we always go back and forth. And that's a good, great partner. And I've been working with Joe Fisk. In the practice, awesome. practice room. Awesome. Those are definitely some great guys. Just, I have a question. Is Jake Rallo here getting your way? Huh? Did, I, I said those are some good opponents you uh, you uh, listed there. Did I have a question. Does Jake Rallo's hair get in your way? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's, he's got some long hair. Every time I wrestle Jake, I always come out um with like a black eye or like a scratch on my face. He's always leading with his head, and that's what makes him one of the the, a great wrestler he is because he's always aggressive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So due to COVID, there will be limited spectators at the venue. Uh, what do you think about having no crowd? Does that affect you at all? Um, No, I don't think it'll affect me. Usually when I wrestle, I zone in on just wrestling. I don't really pay attention to the crowd. I try staying focused on what I'm going to do next. So I don't think it's going to have no impact on me. Yeah. So, um, like we said, your opponent is AJ Rodriguez. Um, how well do you know him? Have you ever wrestled him before? Um, I know him. I know him through junior league. I know that he wrestled for South Carroll. I never wrestled him before. He's always he's been. I think he wrestled one twenty six last year. I was one thirty two, but he's grown and it's gonna be a good match. Yeah, awesome. I definitely agree. It's definitely one of my favorite. I have. I think. Um, so the showcase is kind of a cool kind of, uh, style as it's going to be like a showcase style. It's just you and your opponent wrestling at the time, uh, only you and your opponent wrestling with no one else. And it's also going to be streamed on Rockfin. Um, what do you think of this tournament, uh, tournament or showcase? And have you ever been in one of the showcase before? Um, yes, I was, I was in the showcase last year against Caleb Chavez. It was a really cool experience. You got, you got a cool singlet this year. The singlets are even cooler. I like yeah, the neon so colors. Yeah. I agree. It's just a great it's a great experience. You get to have all like the best wrestlers in Maryland 
you just get to watch them wrestle and then they know that you're part of the best wrestlers in Maryland. It feels good. Uh-huh. Yeah, definitely. Um, so other than your match at the showcase, are there any matches that you're looking forward to watching? Um, yes, I'm looking forward um to Jake Rollins match. I know yeah. I I know that James Rivera. I'm looking forward to James Rivera and Richard Fendlin's match. I knew James Rivera just got back from an injury with his stomach, but if he gets back in time, I'll be looking forward to that match. And uh, I have a couple of friends in there: Jamal, Jamal Everett, Caleb Chavez. Yeah. Um. Not to spoil anything, but uh, what's Richard Fendlin's match? Uh, James Rivera's out on that one. He is. Yeah, it just it, they just made a post today about it. That was oh, that was man. definitely one of the best matches. But that was, yeah. that and was then cool. also Jake Rowell is getting a new opponent. Uh, I Mc- I heard yes. I knew it was up in the air with James because he was on my team and he had stomach problems, and I heard that Jake Rowell's kid must have got hurt. But this is my first time hearing that. It, yeah, Jake's like- wrestling the kid from McDonough. I don't know the kid's name. I the I just. I have to see, but he's wrestling a new opponent, the a guy from McDonough. So both of them, both of those matches have changed. But I was definitely, definitely um, wanted to watch Richard Fedelin and James Rear. I, I thought that would definitely be one of the closest matches of the night because they're both really high level. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna ask a couple questions about yourself. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, wrestler and to watch and why? Um. Seth Gross because I believe in God um, all glory to God for everything he's done for me and he Seth Gross is very open about that with yeah. his faith and also he's one of the most funkiest wrestlers alive it's hard to score on him when you get in a, when you get in a league and you think you got him you don't and I just love how he never gives up yeah he's definitely one of my love, yeah I love Seth Gross for those exact same reasons um, so do you have a favorite wrestling brand? Um, Rudis. Okay. Is it Rudis for apparel and shoes? Um, no. Um, for apparel, my favorite shoes are Nike Freaks. Okay. Freaks. Freaks are, freaks are a classic. You never can go wrong with Freaks. I just got the white They're and always... gold pair. Oh, really? Yeah. The, yeah. Those are going to be clean. Those are slick. Are you going to be rocking those at the showcase? Yes. All right. Awesome. Nice. All right. So my last question for you today is, uh, is there anywhere you're going to be wrestling after the showcase to let everybody else know um, to watch out for you to be there? Um, The Bear, it's in Tennessee. My next – after the showcase, November 22nd, Um, I think it's called the Bear Duels. Is it like, All right. Is it Run Through Tyrant? Um, to be honest, I have no idea. Okay. I know I'm All right. going to something in Tennessee, but I don't know what it is. All right. So, yeah, look him out for, at the Bear Tournament, the Bear Duel in Tennessee, November 22nd, right? Um, yes. Also, well, I, obviously, um, good luck to you at the showcase. I'm hoping you Thank do pretty you. well. And then also hope you do well at the state tournament. Hopefully we have one. And you can get your revenge. You already got your revenge, but this time you can be on top of the podium. Um, thank you for coming on. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks, Richard.